Games are like Dragon's Dogma. But what makes or breaks a game to be in close resemblance? Keep in mind that these games are games that I personally found to be as close or as close as they could be to the likes of Dragon's Dogma. This can be true due to the game setting, awesome boss fights, but of course, above all, the combat system uh, with easy and at all times accessible uh, awesome looking custom skills. Uh, so let's get started to my list of games like Dragon's Dogma. First, we have a game that I had to warm up to, ironically enough, much like Dragon's Dogma, which took me about three times uh, before it stuck its clutches into me. Ease 8. Ease Aiden is an, an action RPG featuring at all the Renner protagonist. And why Ease 8 in particular though? Well, because Ease 8 is set on uh, an offset island uh, with cool environments, wildlife, and all kinds of things to discover. But then it's far from the only thing that makes the game so quite interesting. Ease 8 has pretty much got the exact same input as Dragon's Dogma does for its action skills, but not only has it got it. Uh, uh, fluid combat mechanics, it's got fast-paced boss fights, uh, awesome music, the whole thing. Absolutely breathtaking. Another anime game. But Sappy, Dragon's Dogma isn't an anime game, it has realistic graphics. And to that I say... Boys! Dragon's Dogma is hella anime, actually. And Dragon's Dogma Online is proof of that. And before you click off this video, uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 will be even more hella anime, so be ready for that. So what game could I possibly be hinting at? Well, it's quite an old game, actually. No, not that old. Ragnarok Odyssey is an action RPG, first released in 2012. Ragnarok, at first glance, may look like your typical Monster Hunter kind of game, but it really isn't actually. And sure, well, you go on missions, and you have specific maps that you go through, uh, a lot of the game actually comes down to uh, small monster mobbing, but that isn't the only thing that is quite like Dragon's Dogma. Uh, Ragnarok Odyssey Ace, which came out a year later, uh, had a massive expansion to its endgame. Uh, with it came a dungeon that randomly generated enemies in each new chamber you entered, never really knowing what you might find uh, in the next area. That's actually not the last thing similar to the Dragon's Dogma series, because uh, of course, apart from a bitter black owl in Dark Risen, you didn't really have much randomly generated content in Dark Risen. Most of the random content actually comes from uh, Dragon's Dogma Online. Uh, DDON had random dungeons with always changing encounters, but I'm getting ahead of track. Um, much like Ease A in Dragon's Dogma, Ragnarok Odyssey uh, and Ace in particular also had similar ways of using skills in middle of combat, allowing the player to combine different attacks into cool combo strings. Next up is a game that's actually not out yet, and I've been highly anticipating its release since I saw this awesome gameplay. Granblue Fantasy Relink is an action RPG uh, set in, a, in the universe of Granblue. The combat alone speaks volumes, but this game, uh, this game, could very well be the spiritual successor to Dragon's Dogma. And I would have kept saying that if it wasn't for the fact that the sequel has been announced by now. The combat of Grand Blue Fantasy looks to have so much in common with Dragon's Dogma that I can hardly keep my excitement for it. I really hope that this game delivers. The time will tell, and we will know soon enough, because this game is supposed to release uh, later this year. Unless it pulls the Cyberpunk um, and delays itself for the millionth time. Now, the last one is mostly just a mention, uh, and people are gonna hate me for saying this, but, you know, enough, 
people already hate me anyway. So, uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts Legacy takes Dragon's Dogma skill input and dials it up a notch, allowing players to wake up up to 16 different skills at the same time, uh, which you can switch in between as you see fit, and that is about all the game has in common, of course, but the amount of com combo potential in, in Hogwarts Legacy is absolutely insane, and I love it, and I so hope the Dragon's Dogma 2 something like it that about wraps up the video i hope you guys liked it let me know in the comments and with that i hope to see you guys next time till then i wish you all the best